Mrs. Uzomo Obuchi. Yes. I'm from Anglican. Okay. In one of, I was a candidate of I Must Marry by Fire. In one of the programs that we had, uh, when we came back, that was on a Saturday. You asked us if anybody have any. Which year? That was early last year. Early last year. Okay. To, to 2020. Yes, sir. So you asked us if anybody has any revelation while sleeping out. Also, I told you that I have a dream. That in that dream, that somebody was proposing to me in that dream. And I saw myself holding two flowers. You said it, it has been settled. To the glory of God, that marriage has been settled. Yes. Secondly, uh, my roommate, she was the one that introduced me to this place. One of the times she came for I was married by fire, she came back, I didn't come. So she came back and she told me, during the time that the geo was about to come to Port Harcourt, she told me that, uh, you said that every single sister should sow a seed for that the geo is coming. So she told me, I said, okay, I will do something. I collected the account number from her and I did a transfer. On that very day that that duo was in Port Harcourt, a car nearly hit me down at CFC Junction. But if not for the people that were around that were shouting, I didn't even see the car. That was why the man stopped. He only hit the bag that was carrying. I said, may God's name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Are you clapping for this great God? No, madam, you said it had been said to Are you married now? You did the wedding. You didn't tell us I did my traditional wedding on the 24th and on the 26th. I did marriage. We know you hear those ones. I don't want to hear. People don't understand. He said it's said to. Wait, said, everything said to. My traditional wedding was done on 23rd of May. So due to the COVID uh, Wahala and uh, answers, this thing, we couldn't do the wedding immediately. So the wedding was done on 12th of December 2020. Now clap for Jesus. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. It's permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I pray for somebody here. Whether your enemy like it or not, you will celebrate. Uh, uh, listen, listen, listen. Did you, you heard her? She had a revelation here, and we I asked question, and she shared, and I said. Marriage don't is a concluded matter, and you heard that today. It's done, just like that. I pray for you once more. I want to hear your amen, three powerful amen. On this mountain, God will surprise you. Somebody shout fire! Yes, ma'am. Just pray. My name is Victoria. Reverend Victoria in Oma Amadi. If I give my testimony, that is a song God gave to me. No, yeah. Sister. I want to sing. No, song. no song. No song. No song. Live song. Praise everybody, the living God. Everybody gets song. Go. Maybe so. You don't get song. Me, I get plenty. I'm Are so excited. Yes. Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My heart is full with joy. I don't know how to appreciate this great God. This God that lives in heaven and rules in the affairs of men. This God that has made in heaven his throne and made his earth his full stone. I want to return glory, honor, adoration, power, majesty, dominion, praise, thanksgiving. Be ascribed unto him in the name of Jesus. Today is my first time of visiting Mountain of Fire. Ever since my mother gave birth to me. And my first time of coming, God gave me a first time miracle. <laughs> I want to let you know that for a very long time, I've been praying, asking God to direct my step where I can gain my deliverance. The battle has been so much that I was almost like, why can't you just kill yourself and end these things? Why can't you just take poison and die so that all these things will end? If you die, now all this problem will just end. One man will not say, if you kill yourself, will you go to heaven or you will go to hell fire? Anybody that kill himself, I don't think that heaven will be open. You will go to hell. All your labor will just go in vain. 
and I will encourage myself again. I say, God, when will all these things come to an end? Order my step to a church where I can get my deliverance. Is there no church where they are calling God in truth and the spirit, where the spirit of God is real? Where fire is burning from heaven to the earth? I was like crying to God. God answered my prayer and brought somebody that brought me here. Church, praise the Lord. If I go into detail, time will not permit me. But I want to let you know that there is God here. There is God here. There is God that answered by fire right in this auditorium. I have come to encounter that God that answered by fire. I want to let you know that the, the problem that started in my life did not just start from me. It has been for years. It has been from generation to generation. But God said that through me, he will break the yoke. But the devil refused to allow me to stand and stand on my feet to face it. It has been a battle. As I'm talking to you, this battle took the life of my mother. My mother died last year, November. My father, when we are talking, trying to bury my, my mother, my father died February. So I'm talking to you now, he's in the mortuary. And they said to me that I'm the next person to die. Hence, I've refused to agree to what they have given to me. And I said, I want to serve God. I want to do the work of God. I want to do ministry. Now let's see how it goes. It has been a battle. But I want to return glory to God Almighty who sits in heaven and rules in the face of men. Who snowed the end from the beginning. Who have made his heaven his throne and made the earth his full stone. Who his garment touches the heaven and touches upon the earth. The Lord have remembered me today. I want to tell you that what the man of God did today, brethren, what you people did today, is not you that did it. It is heaven that did it. You will not understand. I saw in a ministry where I work and labor so hard after my ministry closed. I joined a woman of God. I believe so much in her grace. But do you know that at the end of the whole labor, at the end of the whole labor, I will stay till she closed. I will take her back everything to the house. I will stay sometimes till six, seven. And when I want to go, she will give me 400 naira. So that she will give me 200. She have given me a very big money. It's 500 naira. And from where I'm coming from to that ministry, my going and coming back is almost 350. I will say, God, sometimes I will not eat to that program. The day God, the Spirit of God entered me and I raised so much money on the altar, the way the Spirit of God led me for people to support the work of God, the money God raised that very day through my grace, at the end, what she gave to me was just 400 naira to go home with. And I look at it, I say, God, I say, God, I am not working for man. I'm working for you. I know that you are the one to reward me. Yeah. I came back to the house. There was no food to eat. I am talking to you. My husband of despair. You will even ask, which house is that that is despair? I live in a butter. I cannot even pay the rent. As I'm talking to you, I'm owing rent of three months. Three months? Three months. In the butter? Yes. And my caretaker have been on my neck. When they came for the light, they said, you, every time you are carrying Bible, every time you are carrying Bible, house rent, you will not pay. Never be too. You don't want to pay. Which kind of Bible you are carrying every time? I was like, God. No, wait, wait, wait. The, I was the like, caretaker. God. Wait. The caretaker said, You are owing for three months for the bachelor. And months. you can't even pay Nepal B. And they tell you you are carrying Bible. Yes. So you are just carrying Bible. This, and you are still carrying Bible. Are you here? Any power mocking your God. If you can shout to the powerful men, let them there, kill them in the name of Jesus. Somebody shall fire. Are you hearing what she said? She's owing three months. Three months. She could not pay the three months and she's owing for Nepal. And the man came. I said, You can't even pay for the accommodation. Even you know if you pay, you they carry by ball. You don't see how God answered the man this night. You don't see how God answered him. You know how God answered the man. That was what the man told her when he collected the 200 from her. 
You still carry Bible. You can't pay. You can't pay for the accommodation. And you can't even pay me papi. And you they carry Bible. Anybody that is mocking God is not mocking. Anybody mock you is not mocking you. It's challenging your God. It's challenging God in your life. You cannot. It's not your battle. Amen. He said, I will fight for you and you will hold your peace. By the grace of God, she will pay that rent. one year. Left for her to decide if she wants to get is a fix. Amen. Now I, I I I want you to please listen to me, everybody. At times when I hear when I preach here, people look at me as if I'm just talking. I want these young sisters to please use this woman as an as a case study. She said she will work for the woman, even carry her bag. Minister, work very hard, 400. Please don't blame that woman. Is that spirit? Is that foundational? The power wants to frustrate you. I want to tell you something. If you are having a foundational battle, somebody can be tell you, I will bless you. It will bless everybody around you. When it gets your turn, it will tell you, I have something big for you. Wait. And you will wait. And will, you will see the person giving people good money. Nice, like hundred thousand, four hundred, three. When it comes to your church, we tell you, hold this one first, like three thousand. Say, I have something for you. That is what the devil does. Please don't blame. When you go back, you are going to come back. What I want you to do is that don't miss nonsense, must stop. Don't leave the woman. Don't miss nonsense, must stop. You will come back and tell me that that woman bless you after this program. You understand what I'm saying? Clap for Jesus. Amen. You know, when there is a foundational battle, I said it, what you are entitled to, what you are due for, they will not give it to you. I said it, you walk like an elephant and you eat like an ant. You labor, labor, labor. When it's time to be rewarded, they accuse you. They, are someone, they will even accuse you of what you didn't do. Something can get missed and everybody will say you are the one that pick it. It has happened here. The power have told us that I made, Pastor, I made them, okay, I prayed for his sister. I don't know whether that last nonsense must stop. Somewhere there. And the power said, that sister came from Omok. He said, I made them to call her a thief. Who remember? That any time they were accused that she had stolen something and she didn't steal. Is that foundational power? That's what the spirit does. We'll be pushing somebody. And the next thing is, we'll be pushing somebody towards suicide. Suicide. Frustration, you will see it. People will be contemplating. Why, why don't you had that? Why don't I just end it? But you see, the spirit of God will always still speak. You understand what I'm saying now? I say, No, if you die, where are you going to? Don't die, just continue to move. I know how to take care of this thing. And you see, what I want to draw out is that if she didn't tell you where she's staying, you will not believe that's where she's staying, and she's still happy. She, still, she held on to God. She could not pay. How much do you pay, ma, for it? I paid two five. Two five. Two thousand five. A month. A month, right? Yes. She could not pay the two five for three months. And she still held on to the Bible. She refused to com compromise. Am I talking to somebody? Here? She refused to do anything that will not please God. And she held on to her faith. And she was still telling the fellow, I will pay. I will pay. I will, don't worry. I will pay. I will pay. And she told me, she said, she told the man that when I come back from the program, I will pay your money. (laughs) 
not knowing where the money is going to come from. Not knowing where the money is going to come from. But I'm going to a program. When I come back, I will pay you your money. Listen to me. There is reward in faithfulness. I don't know. Uh, uh, you had a, this is our first time of coming to this mountain of fire. I have never seen her before. I have not seen her before. I said, baby, I don't know her. It's just as I'm being led. I don't know her. She just came in there to serve God and God located her and break that yoke. And because God knows she is serving God faithfully. Be a child of God. Why we gather that money here and give to her? When she came, she said, Pastor, somebody in the congregation just asked me and said, I should give her my account number. And the person transferred 10,000. She told me. No. Amen. Listen. Listen. I, she does not owe me any apology to tell me, no. But courtesy demands that I let the man of God that know, know that somebody did something for me, even in the congregation. I might also that I don't know the woman that gave her the money, but she said somebody transfer. Some people will not tell me. They won't let me know. But I'm just trying to tell you how faithful people act and how they operate. And you see, you might look like a fool. You might look as if you are stupid. But you see, reward is coming. Reward is what? Amen. I told you, I said, let us not be weary in doing good. For in due season, we shall do what? If we faint not. There are people, how much is two five? They will run around the street from one goat to another goat to cow to donkey. They will say, ah, I can't die now. can't die. Uh, uh, anyhow, a hustle. And you hustle with Allah. But she held on to her Bible, held on to her God and said, this God, you will not disgrace me. Anyhow, you will do it. God, no do I'm. And there is no way how can you serve God and serve God in vain? No. You, when you serve God faithfully, you are bound to be fruitful. It's not the issue of abracadabra. You don't need to corner anybody. When you serve God the way you ought to serve him, Media, Romans 12, verse 1. Let me see something. We will get there. Media, Romans 12. Those who are tired, they sleep. Romans 12, 1. It will take them almost 30 minutes to see them now. From verse 1. I, yes, read for me. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Holiness unto God is service unto God. Being holy, keeping your body for God, is service unto God. Is there. Which is your reasonable service. Present your body a living sacrifice. Now, if she decides to live a life anyhow, say, this God that I'm serving, he he can't help me. No, you miss it. Without trial, you can't triumph. No problem, no promotion. You can't conquer without a battle. You must fight to conquer. Am I talking to somebody now? I told you sometime, the bigger your battle, the bigger your destiny. 
Sister, congratulations. Yes, let me have something to say. Yes, let us say it. I, I want to appreciate God because I know that yoke is being broken. Because somebody called me and said, come and carry water, ragolis water. Look at me to drink ragolis water. Somebody just called me as I said, please come and carry ragolis water. I want you to carry, just carry, anyone you can carry, just carry. I say, God, the favor has started. Heaven has changed my story for good. I want to bless the name of the Lord. I'm giving the Lord my tithe in this altar. Yes, this is a tithe of 20,000 naira. Why did that go? Praise the Lord. Yeah. You are Praise the Lord. Right. I also want to support the building toilets that is going on. I don't have not seen it. I don't have it. I want to support. I want to support the building with 10,000 naira. God will take you from Mr. Nobody to Mr. Somebody. Somebody that begged earlier today in the park. <laughs> she begged today for 200 to come to this place. Nine pay tight twenty thousand. He can't pay ten thousand for build. God can do anything. limit God. Don't limit him. The enemy is not strong. He's just harassing you. Refuse to give up. When David saw Goliath from the beginning, he said, I will give your head to the birds of the air. So he called him an uncircumcised Philistine. You are not supposed to talk to an Israelite like this. Who are you? Right from the first day, he heard the man's voice. Others heard his voice. They ran. He asked a question. Who is this man? The man made a mistake. He looked at David, not knowing that there is a God behind David that is bigger than him. He underrated the boy. And before he could realize, his head was off. Don't limit God. You heard that when she said it. That the weak have mercy. It's not wicked. Ketika collected out of 300. Collect 200. After that, they go church. I they go program. Now my transport. They say, give me the 200. That man is a tax master. Very heartless. Very heartless. Even if you are they care whatever, you should be able to say, ah, go to church with that one. When you come back. But he say, give me, whether you go, you know, go, you no know, concern me. Give me the 200. And I chop, you won't chop that 200. If you reach Dasham, I told you from the beginning, Dasham 2000. Make it no say life, no end for one place. Yes, make it Dasham 2000. Dasham. Say, this is your debt. Take your accommodation. Take your NEPA bill for the next one year. Take your accommodation money. Then, I don't pray for you to remain in Rabasha in Jesus' name. Now, now look for 2000. Say, take. I appreciate you for always troubling me. Take, go, and, go and drink more so that you cool your, cool your temper down. Amen. 
Next time we see you go in the morning, we say, Auntie, Auntie, how are you? Auntie. I'll not talk to you anyhow. Shout hallelujah, Samba. Can I pray for somebody that will shout a very loud amen? Please, I want to hear three powerful amen. Please let your amen be very violent. Every mouth that has mocked you, we congratulate you in the name of you. Somebody shout fire. Take your seat. Yes. Praise the Lord, church. What's your name? My name is Grace Ehioze. Um, fire on. Let me hear what you want to talk first. I'm from the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I just want to thank God for my deliverance. When, when it actually started today, oh no, it was yesterday, when I was coming, there was a whole lot of hindrances. Even when I came, the spirit was like, go back. At some point, I wanted to go because I was feeling very sick. I sat here, the video started, and something tapped me at my back. He said, I said, you should go back. If you don't go back, I'll kill you. As in, I was like, what's happening? I wanted to meet one of the ministers. I was just, you know, keep praying. Keep praying. The Spirit said, go back. I will not let you go. Go back. I started feeling sick as if I wanted to throw up. The, when we were calling fire, fire, I couldn't stay. Like, it was too hot. So I was like, okay, let me, let me just manage. So um, Pastor um, made a prayer point. So we started praying. I felt relieved. So at midnight... Somebody appeared to me in my dream. He said, I told you to go back. If you don't go back, I'm going to kill you. I was like, I don't know what to do. I still summoned courage here. Even when they were praying, the thing was like, still go back home. Calls were coming in for my neighbors. I didn't know what was happening. He said, go back home. I said, no, I will stay. That was why, that's a, I don't even know what happened. I fell and to God be the glory. I've been feeling like a chain has been on my leg for over the years. But as right now, I don't feel anything. I am totally free. I'm totally free. Then secondly, I think I was resting in, um, not too long ago. I saw a woman appear to me. I was like, am I feeling sleepy? She came. She was like, take. I was scared. Like, she was a very elderly woman. She said, take. She wore white. I couldn't just get her face. She said, take. Say, if you don't take, I'll drop it. Sincerely speaking, this woman dropped it on my mat. I was like, what is this? What is it? Take, take. You two, they disturbed me and she left. What are the things she dropped? I did not know. I did not know what she did. She just said, take. This is what I have been holding from you. Take, take. It belongs to you and she left. Are you clapping for this group? Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do. I will leave her. How dare you? Let me go. I want to go. I am the God of our forefathers. I am from Ekoma in Edo State. They dedicated her to me and to serve me all the days of her life. I'm Osu. Is it Osu? Osu. Do you know about Osu? My dad has told me about it. Your dad has told you about it. Good. I will never let her family go. I have scattered them. Why did she come here? I tried to stop her. She is the star of her family. I dealt with her father. He was very wealthy, but I seize it. She makes money, but I seize it. I will make her to beg. I have appeared to her physically in her room to worship me. Did you have a dream where personality appear? Yes, sir. Yes. I said last year, I was tired of this whole thing. Because my business, I make money, but I don't know what happens. The thing scattered. Scattered, yes. At some point, then I was like, I don't understand. There was a time I even made a huge sum. I said I was going to travel out. The agent, he was very good. 
out of 16 of us that actually um, wanted to travel, I was the only person they rejected. I was asking, like, what happened? They said, no, that I've been rejected. That one passed. Then I had a business. Um, I, uh, I'm into events. So a contract came. I had a very huge sum. Before we knew it, I didn't know how the money left. Three months after, another money came. A friend of mine that is into importation, she has been into it for 22 years. She said, okay, I should, you know, join. The very first time I joined, the person ran away with my money. Sure. You know, a whole lot of misfortune. At some point, I stay alone. I have attempted suicide. Like, I just switched off my phone. I said, this is, let me just end it. My relationship doesn't work. Yes. It doesn't work. The last one was um, January um, 20th last year. The guy is a very wealthy person. He was like, I'm going to establish you. I'm going to give you 10 million. And sincerely, he had the money. At some point, I was calling him. What's the problem? Like, this is the promises you made. Before we knew it, he said, I should stop calling me again. I'm a bad luck. He said, within two, two weeks, he lost 30 million. And, he, and the personality appeared and said, I am the cause. If you don't leave her, I'm going to destroy you and the business. You hear? You don't hear with your ear now. You never hear that? You say you're fine. Sister, you don't get woman here. I have. Fine. You get? Yes. How much be your own? 80,000. 30,000. 80,000. 80, you use them. That was before. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why we tell you? You say, leave Martin and Fire. Leave them alone. They are too hostile. They are very unfriendly. They will tell you not to make up. They will make you look like an old woman. She get woman here. You, you get? You get? I told you. You don't want to pray? When they have concluded your case, this is not a battle. Tell her great, 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 great grandfather. One, two, three, four. You see how many years? I think 600 years. 600 years battle. 600 years battle. I, I want you people to understand something. I, I think I said something here. I said the Lord told me that he would deliver three of them yesterday night here. Three. And I said two was delivered. But I'll just I said, I don't, I, 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 I've been on program. I'm tired. I said, let me leave. I said, Lord, you said three. I said, well, in this program that we do, that one person that is remaining will be delivered. But two. And again, I said it today. that I, When I was talking that, two of them were delivered. And it's remaining one person. I was shocked now when she was saying she was here in the midnight. You know what the power did? The power made her to seek so that she would not be able to participate. I, I wish she now. And she said, why inside the church? The power came and tapped her. Go home. Go. Go. And she refused to go. She went to sleep. It came in a dream. And said, I tell you, make you go. You know one go. I go kill you. If some of you will carry your back, I run away. The next thing you will say, I went to that church. That man is occultic. That is what he will say. That is the next thing. Say, ah, don't go. That place I go, I had a bad dream. Don't go there. May why now you're about to. Now you're about to. But she knew. And I thank God for her that she didn't leave. Because you know what? See, I want to tell you something. Anytime you go to a place and you have that kind of respect, the power has seen what God wants to do for you. They see, I want to tell you one secret. That's why it's all this money, spirit, prophet, and prophetess. They will tell you the, the, the things you. Even the name, they did not call you. Somebody called you, they boy, they will tell you. But no solution. No solution. No solution. That is marine power. No solution. And the next thing they will tell you is river. Take you to the water or something. Amen. And if you go to somebody, they will tell you, you are running away. This thing is very good. Come. And while you go, I will help you. Come. Because he has found out that this one that you are even that is troubling you is stronger than his own. We want to carry you and join. A sister had this kind of problem and went to a prophet. He said, The prophet said, Ah, why are you? There is a power that is following you about that will help you.
but you, will you marry me? Yes. He said, how? He said, why do you want me to marry you? He said, I want you to carry this one, join the one that I have, so that we can do ministry together. I'm telling you what, I'm not telling you, lie. I don't lie, I'll tell you what is real. She said, no, what well, she's on the way from, you want to drag me into it. I said to the sister, they send that man from the water to come and drag you back. The battle that stopped the father, stopped everything. Ah, Sister, please, have you gone anywhere? I went to a church. My okay. friend took me to the church. No, mention the name of the church, please. No, no. So when I got there, the pastor said I don't have a problem. And within me, I knew I had a problem. So he called me out. It's all this prophetic church. He called me out. He wanted to lay hands on me. I said, Pastor, no. I don't allow any how person lay hands on my head. So it was like, I'm not ready for my deliverance. So I left. So since then, the COVID and every other thing, I said I was going to come here. A friend of mine told me if I come here, this is a land of solution. And really, I've gotten my solution. Who is your friend that told you? She's, um, she's a member of MFM, Rumola branch. In Rumola? Okay. And today, God located you. And the yoke break. He said, a great, 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 Grand, I want you to hear this. 600, hear me. 600 years battle. If she has refused to pray and she tried to do it away, is she going to be the same? Wahala. The power will make sure nothing good comes the person way and will frustrate the person. You had her, she lost money. Even the person that said, I will marry you, the power went to the person and said, I will destroy you. If you go close to her. Pastor, I know you very well. You have casted most of us out. I have blocked every good thing in our life. I've been living for 600 years. I lock her in the darkness. Nothing good will come away. Until when God now deliver her from that affliction. Please, I want to cancel you. We're coming for nonsense, must stop. Okay? Yes, don't just finish now and run. Nonsense must stop. I don't say come and worship here. Nonsense. Nonsense must stop. Or I must marry by fire. When you hear, just come and pray. That's all. We don't... But the power was so very, very violent and very wicked power. We're not ready to let go. But that's why I tell you that the power of God is greater than the power of these powers. They will just make noise, make noise, but they will let go. I pray for you. Any power laying claim to your life tonight, they lose their grip in the name of Jesus. Are you okay? No, concerning the one you read out, concerning my father, my dad, it's very true. Because my dad used to be a very wealthy man, but all of a sudden, nothing started working. It was even my mom that trained six of us in school. And... When this power comes, it comes in form of sickness. It drains money. If it's, if it's not liver problem, it's um, appetite B. If it's not appetite B, it's one or two sickness. If it's not glycoma. So like that, like that, he has gone for eight different ex um, surgery on Jesus. the eye. Just the eye alone. Two years ago, he had an accident. Till now, he cannot walk. Child. Ah! Oh! Any power that wants to frustrate your family, frustrate your destiny, Holy Ghost! God bless you. Congratulations. Do the fasting very well. Do the fasting very well. God bless you. Please. Yes. Yes. Can we clap for this great God? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus, they here. He they here. Jesus, they here. He they Yes, in our soul. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes. My Hallelujah. name is Sister Faber, a member of this church. I always had a two, three type of dreams in my life. And once this dream comes, physically I will lose much things in life. Once is eating the dream, second writing exam a dream, third one, her robot will be collecting money from me. So the last matter, last this nonsense must stop, which is last month. I told God. The other one I attend, God stopped the stealing, the lossing of money. 
that his hand robber will attack me and I will lose. Just stop that one. Eating the dream, stop. But this writing that is there, I refuse to stop. So I will tell God, you stop all that one. This, man, this one won't stop. So reaching last week, I was in a dream. I, it, I, I was in a dream. So in that dream, I have two things. One, the exam. One, the church. So I said, let me run to church program. I'm coming back before writing the exam. On my way coming back after the church, I enter the exam hall. I it always be my primary school. And then I woke up, I said, why am I seeing my primary school uniform? So last week, I had the dream. I entered the school primacy. They tell me to go. Why did I come late? I said, no, I must write this exam. They said, don't I know the exam is very important, English, English language. I said, let me receipt the exam. I went to church. They said, why do you go to church? I said, church is very important for me. They said, no option that I should go. I said, no, I must write the exam. I was battling with the, the teacher. So he referred me to the headmaster. And the headmaster happened to be a woman. Physically, I don't know her. I don't know any of the teachers. So I, the headmaster told me, ask me what is my name. I said, my name is Balela Favor. They said, let them bring my file. They bring boldly, my name was written on it. The, man, the woman looked at it, open, open, say, no, you cannot write this exam. I said, ma, I must write this exam. If I don't write, I'm not writing again. She said, even if you write or not, you are not coming again. You are not much a member. I said, I must write this exam. Oh. The woman said, and I asked her, is there no option? She said, okay, let her open and see the option that I have. Where they wrote option, they write no, 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 no. I said, ma, why no, no, no again? This, I don't want to miss this exam. The woman said, anybody that missed this exam can never receive again. That means the person is no more their student. I said, ma, I don't know you, but I must write this exam. The woman said, why are you budging me? You are not writing it again. So that I came out, people, those, most of the teachers, they were telling me, you are too stubborn. All this while you have been writing. Only today now you fail to write. You are no more a student again. I said, just like that, hey, me, I must write the exam. Oh. They were telling me you will not write. I was insist on writing the exam. So they tell me to go. I'm not their member. On my way leaving the school, I woke up. I said, God, is it dream? Is it how you do things? This exam, since my secondary school, since my JS1, I've been writing my primary school exam. And anytime I write the exam, I will have one challenges or another. I say, God, see how you do this. God, last nonsense must stop. I told God, my coming, this nonsense must stop this month. I must give a test. And you have, you have left and there yes. in Jesus' name. And after that, after that my, in my business, I lost much 2020. Since 20, early 2020, I went market last and I lost everything. I told God, this year, I must start up again. Last nonsense of stuff, God promised me in my dream that the business will start again. And behold, last week, I went to market and I bought my goods and I filled my shop again. And I told God, this business I start, I will not lose again. I refused to sell. I said, after this program, I will start to sell. I said, God, who have helped me out of this? May his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Every negative dream that always sets you back, if you can shout three powerful men, I break that yoke in Adam and Jew. What was the, the wear and primary school uniform? Please you don't go by institution, then wear and primary school uniform. You know what it means? You will never move forward in life. Yes. Uh, you have left there many years ago. And the uniform still in your body. Now you see that way they do so. In a primary school, for them, you still the primary school. <laughs> Very wicked people. Black man, that is what we know how to do. And you see now, they were telling her, the prayer have made them to say she should go, but she was still insisting. To write and pass. <laughs> yes. She wants to pass. But God said, I have removed your name. They put no, no for you. Yeah, that's why you need to be very spiritual. I want to pray for somebody. Three powerful men. Every yoke of backwardness in your life is broken in the name of Somebody shall fire. Yes. 
church, praise the Lord. My name is Bridget Skoka, Bridget Macaulay. Uh, after uh, Macaulay. April, Bridget Macaulay. Macaulay, okay. After the uh, April No Sense Monster program, I traveled. So when I was there, my elder brother called me. He said he had a dream oh, that uh, I died, that he saw my cousin. So he was crying, crying, and I woke up from the dream. So from there, another sister called me. MFN sister, and I said that I had the revelation that I should pray to that. They fired my arrow of stroke, that he saw me the revelation that my two legs got paralyzed, and that all of a sudden he saw rain from heaven falling on my two legs. But it's not, the rain is not water, it's ice block falling on the two legs. And I said, it's like the thing we manifest, but God will take control. I said, okay, no problem. And I said, I, I'm already feeling the sign, sure. And I said, okay, we should pray. So after that call, the, the names that started feeling the sign, the signs and symptoms started, started. Then the thing will be running from this left side of my head, the down to the hand and the leg. And when that starts, I will be feeling paralyzing on the hand and the leg. So I immediately I went to, I went to the uh, pharmacy, I collect drugs. Immediately they gave me drugs of 16,000, I paid. So I started taking the drugs. The no, take the Madam, drugs. drug of 60,000. 60,000. Still, oh yeah, tell, now, how are you now? So as I was taking it, the thing now, was now. Worse. So the thing got worse on, uh, on Friday, 30th of April. Though, then I called my friend to come and pick me. But although my colleagues now said they are, take, they are coming to pick me to the hospital. And I said, no, it's not an hospital thing. I've been taking drugs, it's not working. So my colleagues is taking me to the church. So he came, she came, she took me to the, the last day of crossover to night. Crossover night. So when we came, we saw Pastor Ade. But I said, how is he doing? And I explained. And I said, yeah, it's partial stroke. I say, how is, I say, he's doing me. I'm feeling paralyzing on him. And I said, it's partial stroke. Okay. After the night vision, we see that. And I said, okay. So after the night vision, I saw that he's seeing people here. And I said, okay, let me go away. Before I could come back, he, ha he has already left. Because of my condition, to, to, to get to the auditorium two times before I got here. And I met her. And I said, no, daddy has gone inside to rest now. That I should go to the altar. I said the altar of God to swallow the stroke. And I said, okay. So I came to the altar. I prayed. I prayed the prayer very well that I left. So that Saturday morning, we went home. They, but, uh, though my, my Madam, uh, now. So I was to wait. So the thing was still there. They took me to somewhere. The man charged me. Now. Leave that so, one. So I was using the water of fire and the sand from this place. So I saw that God, after I woke up in the morning, I saw that I noticed that. The pain has reduced. I don't swollen on my leg. All of the got dry. So the sign, that sign of paralysis, everything stopped. Stopped. So now I'm normal. I can walk normally as a normal human being. Can we clap for this great God? Congratulations. You tell me permanent in Jesus' name. I pray for you. Any arrow in your body, let's go back to the sender. Yes. Simple and precise. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Victor Tamno. I worship here. I want to thank God for successful journey and from school to year and also for saving me from fatal accidents on my way going back to see my grandfather that was sick i had a severe very fatal accident a trailer just came just entered from a uh, expressway that almost took my life and from there we would break and another bike man just jammed me from the back i just thank god that nothing happened to me not I was so not I was okay. I even thought I even had a fracture or dislocation on my hand, but there was nothing. I just wanted to go for everything. You shall not die but live in Jesus' name. Yes. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Gladys Amarachi. Talk louder. I said my name is Gladys Amarachi Oguntade. I worship in the within Christian Church of God. I want to give God the glory for what He did for me here. That was uh, this nonsense must stop December. So I attended the December this thing. So there was a time I was afflicted. So in course of running about seeking for solution, I lost my dream life. So my dream life, so I don't dream again. I now, don't see anything. But now. But now, since uh, during that, uh, I must. Liberance. No, uh, nonsense must stop. Yes. I attended. We prayed and said, God will restore our dream. And since then, God restored. Your testimony is found in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for her. Oga, don't talk like this woman. Talk louder. Yes. Church, church praise the Lord. Your uncle even worse. 
Huh? Talk louder. Church, praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Well, my name is David Udo. I'm a member of Salvation Ministry. Well, my testimony goes like this. Are you guys hearing me? Well, my testimony goes like this. Well, I came here last time for um, breaking the evil yoke of demonic cauldron. That last program where I had my deliverance. Witchcraft cauldron. Yeah, witchcraft cauldron. Where I had my deliverance. Um, well, I usually have this sensational feeling of pain down deep down here, my, my waist. Right here. It happened to me like more than a year. And the funniest part about this, not even funny, the worst part about this is that when I sleep, I see like a lady comes to me in the dream, making love to me in the dream. And when she always makes this love to me, when I wake up, I find myself wet, you know, like um, my whole clothes and everything. And this stuff, of course, like three days, the next three days, the next three days, the next five days, you know, started getting so serious. I didn't know what to do. My mom was like, she's a woman of God. She, then I started coming here to God be the glory. The guy who was behind whatever he was doing confessed and released me. And now there's no pains again. I've been having this pain for like one year plus now. I can't feel no pain again. My body's free. I'm like, Damn, my body is so free. And the evil dream. Everything is gone. She's no more coming again. Like when she comes, she just stays, look at me. I'll be like, lady, bye. She's no more there with me again. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> yeah. She's gone, like for real. She's gone. She's gone. Yeah, she's gone. And she's never gone. to come I'm back. Feeling free. Yeah. Then, you are free. Yeah, I'm free. Okay. Um, then my Somebody second, shout hallelujah. My second testimony. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm an amateur footballer. I okay. play soccer. So I had this injury since last year. That was, um, I think that was during um, September. Is this September? Yeah. I've been having this injury. No. It was since March last year. I had this injury just below my knee right here. Anytime I want to play soccer, it pains me, hurts me so much that I can't even run on the football pitch. I've been having this injury since then till now. Then till I started coming for this show. Like when I want does as if he wants to go and then I want to come up again. Like how am I going to play soccer if this stuff still keeps coming like this? You know? It started getting so hot in like I started feeling pains. I started crying because this is what I love. I love soccer. I want to play soccer. It pains me so much when I go to the football field and I see my friends playing soccer, my teammates playing soccer. I'm just sitting right there having injury and all this stuff. It hurt me so much. So now, my injury, gone. I'm feeling too good. Even I was planning on going to the academy in Lagos to go enroll for my soccer stuff. And my mom was like, she's going to enroll me, she's going to enroll me. But deep down, my mind was like, even if you get this money to enroll me, I won't be able to go deep down because I me, mean, I'm not telling you I have any. That was then. That was then. But now. But now. I'm all free. I'm all good. I'm okay, free. I remember you now. Yeah. They brought you here. Yeah. Okay, I just remember him now. Okay. Where's your mom? Mom. She's around? Mom. Right okay. Sweet, God mama. bless you, man. Sit down. Yeah. I'll be looking at you. I say, ah, I've seen this face before. Yeah. Okay. Now everything is gone. Everything is gone. The no pain is pain. gone. Everything is gone. The leg, everything is gone. Yeah. The one ear is gone. Is yeah. <laughs> Somebody say yeah. <laughs> God bless you. Put your hands up for Jesus. <laughs> Amen. You don't know for somebody to be in pain for one year plus and he affected he's a footballer he affected the legs he couldn't play pains you know I remember that day 
when the power of God hit the mother here, about the sister, they brought the issue of the leg. I told them, he said, don't, they should forget about it. I think I anointed as a, a wicked, I don't want to go there. Let me not go there. Go help us. I want to pray for you. Any wicked prophet that is pursuing you, wicked prophet that is pursuing you, turn down, we kill them in the name of Jesus. Somebody shall fire. Yes, sir. Take your seat. Yes. My name is Joshua Okre. I'm a member of a Grace of Fire Ministry. I want to thank the God of this commission has delivered me and my family. I have two testimony. The first one goes like this. I came out in this age and joined the battle as in my family. That a man that breathed as I breathed told my father, I will give you a condition in the land of the living. Not that he said it and leave it open. He back it up with sacrifice. I start calling God. At the end, the man traveled without visa. Amen. Second one. Yesterday, I was sitting at the gallery when daddy was praying about foundation. There is only been three in our village where people used to gather. Eventually, in that room, I find myself in that tree. There is all under it. That is where the nest of my family is. And I put hand, I bring that name. I say, God, who has delivered me in this program? My family. May your name alone be praised in the name of Jesus. You brought the name of your family member out of under the tree. Yes, sir. Child. Anywhere they bury your family name, your family glory. I want to hear, as I say, Holy Ghost, I want to hear fire. Holy Ghost! Take your seat. Yes, ma'am. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm Sister Mabel. I worship you. My testimony goes like this. Last year, I was praying with my husband. All of a sudden, what I saw was a old woman coming to touch my breast. Immediately, I shouted. I said, ah! Blood of Jesus, I prayed. He said, what is that? I said, I saw you, old woman, coming to touch me. We prayed. Now, after then, I said, I have that sensation. It comes and go, comes and go. I peace. Then, all of a sudden, last April, uh, nonsense must stop. I was sitting down there. Right in the church, the pain so severe. It looks as if something wants to burst out of my breast. I say, God, I am here. Where will I go? Or do I even have the money to go to hospital now? I was praying. As God will have his way, before the end of the program, I can experience it again. May his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Another one is, yesterday is 13th May. I give God the glory. God has done so much things in my life. I can't say they all. He has added another year to my life. May his name be glorified in Jesus' name. I talk out before, they know they hear. We talk, and I say, Pastor, they talk. Next. Praise the Lord. I want to give God all the glory. I thank God. I never knew that God has prepared to deliver me uh, through the um, crossover prayer. Actually, the enemy um, wanted to prevent me to attend the program. I came to that program by force by fire and i prepared like the woman uh, with the issue of blood i said god you have to visit me in this program because uh, after the death of my mother the enemy pursued they wanted they, they they started afflicting me with the spirit of death the whole system changed i was not myself anymore i went to the hospital i went to take i i, I did tests all over my the organs to find out what is really wrong with me. And at a time, I could not walk properly with my leg, my hand. I was walking stylishly because people were asking, what's the problem? I can't even bend this knee. I can't, in fact, all over me, I was not myself. I was seeing death. So that night, the first day, the enemy prevented me. The second day, I said, no way. When I came to the church, I danced like a 
never before. I said, this anointing in this altar, you work in my life. I did not care about people around me. I danced like never before. I said, today, God will visit me. How can this shame be? How can I have stroke as a child of God? It's a shame. In the office, they will be asking me, what is this? What's happening to you? They wanted me to die before the burial of my mom. So that night as I came, pastor came, on, came up. He now raised one prayer point. There's God in this place when you come here. If you are coming to this place, there's no way God cannot touch you. There's no way you will not change. As the first prayer came, a hand, physical hand, not physical human being, but a hand like human being's hand, hit me on my chest like this and uprooted something. And I screamed. Uh -uh. That was the first one. And I continued to Are you clapping for Jesus? <laughs> Are you hearing that? While prayer was going on, I said, always close your eyes. I said she saw that hand physically, came, touched her chest, and removed something from her chest. That was the first encounter. Continue. So I was expecting that kind of Nicodemus kind of deliverance. I didn't want to come out in the open. I know I, I said God will visit me here and complete the deliverance. I was not expecting to be brought out. The second time, Pastor raised another prayer point. He was praying. That hand, like a hand of human being, came again and hit me on my forehead like this. And when the hand hit me, I lost uh, control. I could not hold myself anymore before they now brought me out. Deliverance started. After the deliverance, all those pain, everything. In fact, I became my normal self again. I just want to give God the glory. Are you for clapping for this day, God? Amen. Remember her in the crossover night? They said, the woman, that which said she, she bought seven caskets. Seven. That she escaped first casket. She will not escape number two. If she escaped number two, she will not escape number three. If she escaped number three, she will not escape number four. She escaped number four. She will not escape number five. She escaped number five. She... Seven for one person. But God destroyed all. You heard that? She had been seeing the signs and symptoms. And God, she said, after the deliver, after the prayer, said, all those pains disappear. This is the woman I will tell you that the power said, even as she's here, she's planning to take sand from this place, which she has not even taken. They already know what she's planning. I pray for somebody here. Any power monitoring you day and night, let that power go blind in the name of Jesus. And the power said, I'm waiting for her to come and bury them. That she will not come back. But she has gone. She don't come back. And she's still there. Now them go die. In Jesus' name. Secondly, about my mommy's burial. My mommy died October, end of October last year. So we can imagine how many months in the mortuary. Because of money. So the enemy blocked all the ways. There's no money. So my siblings said, let, let my mom remain there. But one of the, um, this nonsense must stop, stop. I wrote all the, everything needed for that burial. And I came to this altar. I cried to God. I said, this woman has to be buried. Fire entered the prayer point as I was praying. And as that fire entered, my God, the boldness entered me. I said, we have to bury this woman. There was no money, but God surprised me. One of the prayers here, as we were praying, as we are saying amen, because I was worried. As soon as we said amen, I looked at my phone. 500,000 has entered. I said, God. In fact, it was the anointing of this altar that buried my mom, that conducted the burial. Because everything, it was through me because other ones, the roads were blocked. Money wasn't coming in, but God opened the fountain. Money was flowing. Even someone bought uh, a cow. In fact, drink. People, on the burial day, people were packing drinks, 
packing meats, packing drinks. I even saw one person's bag, a whole, a whole crate of moths inside there. People, we are buying bags to go home with things. I want to give God the glory. The evil woman who saw me as a threat in that family that had been tracing this woman, if in the dream, he will be following me behind. I will be walking barefooted. He will be following me. This woman has been following me bumper to bumper, and just like a business. He goes to his coven meeting every day. I face attack every day of my life. This woman has troubled me. All of us, to the extent, none, none of us, none of us goes home. We just left home because of, uh, because of this woman. Others have died, remaining this woman and her coven members. And I know I have contacted something. A pastor prayed for me. During this burial, I have to look at her for the first time, eyeball to eyeball. Because pastor said, I released the angels working with me. My head, whoa. I said, what? I cannot fear this woman anymore. She did not come close to our place. Throughout the burial, he was, she was moving through that sideways, walking sideways. Even when she saw me, she moved. I called her. I said, I called her with the native name, Danta. You now looked at me. I said, how are you? So I knew that God has started a thing. I'm waiting for the burial of this woman. This woman must be led to rest in the name of Jesus Christ. She will go down in Jesus' name. I pray for somebody, anybody that is troubling you, God, we bury them in the name of you. Ah, we only know wickedness. Yes. Praise the Lord, church. I want to give this testimony because I feel that I will not be sincere if I don't come out. Before, my second name used to be sickness. When I miss sickness, I miss sickness. And regularly, this right from birth, I have been sick. Even they told me that when I was a baby, that I would cry throughout the night. Everybody in the yard would wake up. Nobody would sleep. I don't allow anybody to sleep. And nobody knew what was happening. And the native daughter my parents were going to, I grew up to meet the man. That it was a landlady that introduced them to that native daughter because of my condition then as a baby. Now. Now, I thank God that everything has changed. Because I started when, in 2016 when I located Abak. Even that very day I got there, I still ate the drink. Because then eating the drink was a regular thing. And... I was surprised. But as God will have it, when they transferred me down here in April, I was very happy that I will be frequently going to Aqua Ibon now for the deliverance. I didn't know God had a better plan. Pastor Chus came May. I think around June or July, he started the deliverance. And since that time, I have become coming regularly, monthly, by the grace of God, except anything. I didn't know when the sickness left. I don't know that there's something they called... Um, demonic typhoid and malaria because they were wrong manner of tests. There was a time in my office they started spreading rumor that my enemy has HIV because I was always sickly. But I thank God. I didn't even know when the sickness stopped. Today, everything Today, is gone. Gone. And never to come back again. Praise the Lord. Every owner of evil Lord, you are like, let them carry their Lord. Yes. Gosh, praise the Lord. My name is Rebecca Okebu. I, came to, I come here to give glory to God because of what God did that amazed my family member. Two months ago, I was here for no, uh, nonsense must stop. As we were praying here, the prayer was hitting them in my compound. I'm seeing in the church, my landlady felt the prayer and she fell down right in the house and I'm still here. Then my brothers, they, they uncontacted my uncle. They were all looking for me. Where did I go? Now the prayer that I'm praying here, I'm sitting in the church here. Oh, the prayer, they were feeling it wherever they are. They came to my house. I was not around. They came to the church. They came to my shop. I was not around. So they were wanted to know, where did I go? That the thing that they were sending to my life was going back to them. Finally, I met my brother. 
he said, he was asking me, because it's like the prayer I've been praying before, before I know nonsense must stop. It's like he's not touching them, and they are going more in their battle. So after that, they come to understand that I come to this place. They now said, okay, is that the power behind why I'm succeeding? Then my landlady, she just, she, each time I come here, she will ask me, Ibo Lolo, where did you go? Where did you go? So before you know it, I start having the spirit of death. You know, pastor prayed for me that time. Spirit of death. When I sleep, I will see coffee. When I sleep, I will see coffee. I will see burial. So before you know it, I didn't come last month. Then before you know it, I have this partial stroke. Right from the side of my brain down to my leg. Eh? I was having pain. My hand has already gone this way. I said, this one is not my portion. I got my water and my anointing oil. I said, even if I can't get to Pastor Chip right now, I can use this one and see. I, as soon as I take that anointing oil, the calmness from the brain immediately ceased at that time. Without Pastor Chip, though, it ceased at that time because my hand was already going this way. I can't straight it. My leg was already but now, So now. now it's fine. But the thing is that they're still asking me, how come? Because when they see me going for my business, it's, it's an amazing thing to them. They can't understand it. They will not understand because you're a child of God. Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. You, are, you should be a mystery to your enemy. They won't understand you. How, how can they understand? Anything you understand is not of God. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Praise Besides. the Lord. Hallelujah. This is my first time of being here. I want to give God the glory for my coming to this program in the mighty name of Jesus. He's a friend that invited me. But Leave that time, one. What did God do? I've told you. Don't worry, everybody now. Somebody invite them. Talk with you. Go talk. I want to thank God for what God did for me on the 10th of March last month. I sent my daughter out to go on for a message. By July, she should be 11 years. So when I sent her out, the little one was sleeping. I waited for a while. I didn't see her. That was around after two. She went out. I waited for a while. I didn't see her. I was worried. I waited. Then this one has slept. And I said, okay, let me go and look for her. I went out to where I sent her. They said they didn't see her. I started asking everybody in the street, did you see favor? They said they didn't see her. A woman said, I, I saw her in this, in this junction. She greeted me. But ah, what happened? I said, I've been looking for her for over two hours now. I don't know where she is. I called the father. The father said he's on his way from work. That what happened? I told him. My pastor called. I said, ah, what Adam, is it? Have you seen her? I've seen her. Have you seen her? Yes. I just want to spammer it. Your testimony is permanent now. I want to pray. Your testimony is permanent. Clap for Jesus. Yes. Church, praise the Lord. My name is God Osorbe. I don't want to testify today. My elder brother just called me now. That is why I just delivered Bansi baby boy and all of them are saved. Thank you. Your testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. Clap for Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Short and precise. Praise the Lord. So um, during the Easter Wednesday, I was badly down and I was rushed to the hospital. I was seriously crying and the problem was an ulcer challenge. So I've been, I was told about this program, I've been procrastinating coming. But yesterday, I planned attending the program, but I don't know what happened. I couldn't eat. So along, I couldn't eat at the time, so I just ate a little before I knew. I was planning to eat by 11 o'clock so they can help me to be in this program. So by the time I knew, I slept off. And now? So I woke up to see myself late and I couldn't eat again. So I attended the program. I came to the program yesterday morning. So I never believed that I could be in this program from that morning till 10 o'clock. I was even saying, this pastor should end this prayer now. Let me eat. But at the end, I had by 10 o'clock, I had to take don't water. confess. I had to take water by 10 o'clock to see where I can get myself. But I want to thank God that even all the pains on this ulcer, my stomach, everything has ceased. Even last night, while I was praying, preparing for the, this program, I had a dream last night where I was being given a blazer suit. And I said, God, who have started this miracle, to him be all the glory. Your chest one is permanent in Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
My name is John Ayutayin. First and foremost, I want to appreciate God for his love and mercy. I also want to thank God because in this year, particularly, I've seen pastor in the dream for like um, about five times. To an extent, it's like in a crowd like this, I saw people carrying bags of cement on their head. I said, ah, what is happening? Is this suffering? They told me it's a blessing. So I don't know if there was a time they asked people to bring cement. Yes. So I said to my wife, I will come and see Pastor. So there are a series of things. There are things I need to do, see him personally. To crown it all, last year. So I think in that dream, they said you should come and testify. I said, let me come and testify. Last year, I was in a dream. I saw God talk to me concerning pastor. He said I should come and see him and tell him a particular thing I cannot disclose to the public. Last year, I went to work. I was on my way coming back. When I want to come back, this for, um, anniversary clothes, the Spirit of God said, wear it because I have it. So when I come back at Trailer Park, I had an accident. My car ran out of the, I, the car field brake. I ran into, I ran into a, a truck. And the, the, the steering caught my bone into two. The, the case was complicated. I came past to pray for me. They have to, after five months, they have to rebroke the leg and reposition it. As you can see, I can stand properly. So I've come to return all the glory to God for the wonder he has done. To crown it all, there is God in this mount. Ever since everything I had, my family, my house, my car, everything, my wife, is a result of this commission, mountain of fire. So if you are here, believe God, you will see the glory of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Get Please, all those of you, those of you that we give this form to, make sure that you fill them, submit them. Please sit on your seat now, everybody. We have limited time. Amen. Sit very well now, everybody. Are you ready? Say, power of God from the throne of God. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. On your chair, shout seven out fire. Let's go. Louder. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Amen. Jump up to your feet, everybody now. Please, I want to beg you, don't quarrel in this program. Don't allow anybody to provoke you. If the fellow take your space, look for another space. Just create space for yourself and rest. Don't allow, even when you go to the toilet, don't allow anybody to provoke you. Please, everybody listen to me. I made an announcement. Don't go to that new toilet where we are still working on. Don't go there and do anything. Don't near there. Please. Don't. I hope those of you on the gallery, you can hear what I'm saying. Please. If anybody know which I talk, if you know your reason, I'll make a repeat myself. Whether I'll come beat you, make I tell you personally. You see that? The new toilet side where we are walking, don't near there. Please. Don't go there. It's not connected. We were just still working on it. So we went there last time to take shower, to even urinate. 
And after they left, the whole place was stinking. And they are walking there. So please don't near there. Don't go there. Please. Just manage what we have. The Lord Almighty will see us through. We are very close. I told you, we are very close. It's just money for tithes that we are looking for, which by the grace of God. And I'm trusting God that this said, God will use us to do it in Jesus' name. Say better, amen. amen. Say louder, amen. amen. You had that woman, she said she was praying here and her 500,000 alert entered her phone from where she never expected. So, you will get your own alert in Jesus' name. You didn't say amen. Sharp blood of Jesus. Seven more times. Let's go. Louder. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Number seven. One prayer point. One prayer point. Are you ready? Please. Look for the name of the I do of your father's house. Now that's that I pray for. That other side that I testify now. I, Osu, that name. That is the name of the I do. Please. Look for the name of that I do that you know. If you don't know the one in your father's house, look for the one in your village. Okay? The, I want if it is work, but I call work, but if it is, uh, is it the mini? Call it the mini. That man, that one, and say it be. Uh, look, wait. just call them that local name of the idol. I hear shout blood of Jesus three times again. Louder, louder. Three times, three times, three times. Number one, number one, number two, and number three. Are you ready? Call the name of that I do. If you don't know the name of the I do, say I do, but I want you to call the name. Say, oh, do mama. <laughs> Hear what I had again. Say, you, this man, you have started again, oh. You have started again. You will not leave us alone. You have started again. Holy Ghost. Close your eyes. Oh, do baba! Oh, do baba! Oh, do baba! I hate you! Da! Open your mouth and pray! You are not praying. You are not praying. This woman, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Don't be tired. 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 Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Aha. Aha.
Thank you, my father. Yes. 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 Listen. That sister that buried her mother here, that says she buried her mother, she's a child of God. In fact, she's a minister in our ministry. Women, she has been praying. She has done series of prayer. Yeah, when I asked that woman of God, she said she has done seven days try twice. So I see some of you, the way you are praying, listen to me. Power don't let go easily. They fight with the last blood. And you know, there are many powers that they have vowed that you will never amount to somebody. And until they see that fellow enter the grave, that is when they will turn back. They don't go back until when they see that fellow. Except you put up a fight with the fire of God. And I've told you something. You can have all the connections. You can be intelligent. You can have all the idea. But you will not know how to go about it. And every time you make effort, there will be obstacle. Because of faulty foundation. Are you ready? You know your family name. You know your family name. Say, Demon of Damiro's house. Please, I want you to be shouting. Say, Demon of Damiro's house. Attacking my glory. I bind you. I cast you out. Are you ready? Zakada, Nesuka Pandalia, Nezuma Zika Pandalia. Yes, whatever they buried in your father's house that is slowing people's progress down. Aha, uh -huh. I command it to catch fire in the name of you. Okay, okay, okay. Say, demon of Damiro's house. Attacking my glory. I bind you. I cast you out. 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 I bind you, 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 I cast you out. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please be aggressive. Say, ancestral chain of my father's heart. Say, ancestral chain of my mother's heart. Tie me down to one spot. Break, 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 break.
In Jesus mighty name we pray. Continue to pray, my sister. Don't be tired. You will cry out. Say, ancient altar of my father's house. Say, ancient altar of my mother's house. Attacking my glory. You are a liar. Die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Continue, 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 continue. Don't be tired. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please pray this one very fast. Say, foundational affliction of my father's house. Foundational affliction of my mother's house. In my life. Die! Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Madam, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. God bless you, this sister. Continue, continue. Don't be tired, 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 don't be tired. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Lift up your twins. Please, don't joke. 
We are in the last phase of this section now. Those of you that are in that gallery there, you are sitting down. Are you with us? Those who there, you will sit down. Look at them. That brother is he sleeping. Lucio, see somebody. Chai. Lift up your twins. You will shout at the top of your voice. Gather your strength together. Remember today is dry fast. Lift up your twins. The angel is moving about. Madam, learn how to close your eyes. Stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Look unto Jesus. Lift up your hand above your head. Be angry in your spirit. You will shout the first 21 like this. Say, fire of God! Deliver me! Lift up your twins. Now, Kandalia. Le supra kada. Yes. Yes. Lift up your strength. Aha. Please gather your strength together. For then you shout it 21 times and keep quiet. Please shout it. Lift up your strength. Say, fire of God. Deliver me. Shout it 21 all time. Let's go. Louder, louder. Shout it, shout it. One. Two. Louder. Uh huh. Number three. Number four. Number five. Continue. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Eleven. Shout it. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. <laughs> Lift up your twins and close your eyes. Help that sister, help that sister. Help that sister there. Lift up your twins. You have asked for the fire. Aha. Lift your hand above your head. Please close your eyes. Fire that swallow fire. Nasuka panda. Yes. Aha. The fire. Increase the fire, Lord. Aha. Increase the fire. Lift up your twins. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Fire that cannot be salted. Le kapala. Yes, Lord. That's it. The fire. The fire. Aha. Uh -huh. The fire. Yes. The fire. Aha. Uh -huh. The fire. Lift. Madam, don't pray. When I say time to pray, pray. Don't pray, madam. Lift up your twins. Follow instruction. When it's time to pray, I say pray. After prayer, keep quiet. Just close your eyes and concentrate. Lift up your twins. Aha. 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 That's it. The fire. Madam. Lift your hand up. Oh my God. Lift your hand means you are surrendering to God. That you have tried. You cannot do it. It should help you. That's what it means. 
and you are inviting the Holy Spirit. Lift your hand up. Aha. Holy Ghost. Yes. Aha. Yes. Aha. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Aha. That's it. It's happening. That's it. That's it. Aha. Look at the fire. Something's happening there. Aha. Long term bondages. Aha. Oh my God. That's it. Aha. Yes. Yes. Aha. Yes. Aha. Lift up your trains. Lord, anyone here that their placenta witches are using it to attack their glory. They are suffering from placenta bondage. Lift up your trains. Each time they close their eyes, they see themselves back in their village. Always going back to the village in the dream. Always see yourself in your village markets. In the village square. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. You that demon of retrogression. Demon of backwardness. Demon of stagnancy. Let your captive go. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. That's it. Epa. You must let her go. Let him go. Lift your hand up. Ministers, watch out. My father is walking in the midst there. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Demon of backwardness. That's it. That's it. You demon of retrogression. Yes. Let her go. Let him go. Aha. Uh -huh. Let her go. Let him go. Yes. You can no longer hold him down. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. You can no longer hold her down. Let her go. Aha. Uh -huh. The fire is burning. Let them go. Let them go. Aha. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. For this purpose, the Son of God is made manifest. That he might destroy the work of the devil. Aha. Uh -huh. Everything. Aha. Uh -huh. Retrogression. Backwardness. Disappointment. Delay. You demon of delay. You demon of failure at the edge of breakthrough. Let her go. Let her go. Let him go. Let him go. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it. That's it. Help that Help that Help me. Help me. Help me. Hey. My God. Why now? Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy God. Where are these ministers? Where are they? Yes. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Help him, help him up. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Help him up. Aha. Uh -huh. Lift up your twins. Aha. Uh -huh. Holy God. Holy God. Holy God. Holy God. Lift your two hands above your head. I see a seat now. And I ask a very big chair like they sit the throne of a king. And I ask, Lord, what does this chair symbolize? Lift up your hands. He said there are people here. You are meant to live like a king. In fact, the kingly anointing is upon you. But there's an enemy that is occupying your seats. But right now, the anointing of God is coming upon you. To take over your place. Take over your place. Take over your place. Take over your place. Power of Holy Ghost. Move. On the gallery. It's happening. On the gallery. It's happening. Let go. 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 Uh-huh. Kalusata. Something's happening. Something's happening. Something's happening. Something's happening. Holy God. Aha. Uh -huh. Lift up your twins. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Lift up your twins. Lord, they are still remaining. They are remaining. They are remaining there. Yes, some of them are there. Yes. They must start your original glory. 
Aha. 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 Help this man. Help this man. Help this man. Help this man. Aha. Oh yes. Aha. He's coming out. He's coming out. He's coming out. That is coming out. You are a king. A royal priesthood. You are a king. You are born with many colors, many stars. But the enemy held you down. Let go. 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 Aha. Yes. Aha. Aha. Aha, aha, holy God, holy God, holy God, Lift up your twins. Who said we will not allow this star to speak in this family? Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Who said we will not allow this star? Lift up your twins. Who is saying you cannot be in charge here? You cannot control us. You cannot lead us. You cannot dictate things in this family. La Canta, Libra Cata, Le Suka Panda, who said a thing and they come to pass. When Jehovah commanded it not, you are meant to be in the front. You are not meant to be at the back. You are meant to be giving. You are not meant to be begging. Yes, Lord, the spirit that the enemy used to attack you, to slow you down. That is, uh, let go, 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 let go. Uh-huh. 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 Something's happening here. Holy God. Holy God. Lift up your twins. Anyone that polygamous witches and wizard gather together and say we will catch this one. We will not let her go. We will not let him go. How can she go to university? And now she wants to marry. How can she marry? Uh -huh. What about my own children? Aha. Kalazua. Le Kupara. Lizzy Kapa. Aha. 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 Holy God. Aha. Lift up your chest. Lift up your chest. Aha. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Fire. Lift up your twins. Lift up your twins. Shout seven hot fire and keep quiet. Seven hot fire. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven. Keep quiet. Lift your hands up. Aha. Uh -huh. Lift up your twins. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Lift your hand up. Anyone in this meeting that you saw yourself in the dream, they shave your glory. They shave your hair. And they took something important away from you. Right there where you are. I command your original glory to come back in the name of you. <laughs> Lift up your twins. Who took your hair to an evil altar? Does it? 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 Holy God! Holy God! Holy God! Holy God! Holy God! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Ajá. 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 Lift up your twins. My father has said this now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lift up your twins. Close your eyes. On that gallery, there are two of you there. And the many five are down here. Lift up your twins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift up your twins. I don't want to hear anything now. Lift your hands up. Close your eyes. The Lord is here telling me about that kingship thing. Lift up your twins. Lift up your twins. One is gone. Lift up your hands. You were born with a crown. But the enemy misreplaced that crown. Right now, as I'm talking now, the angel is moving with that crown. And that crown will begin to drop on your head. And you'll feel the sensation. La Subaga. Look at it. Number two there. Number three there. Episode number four. Number four there. Number five. Number six there. On the gallery. Father, where are the two? That's it there. That's it. Number five there. Number six there. Uh huh. Power Holy Ghost. That's it there. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh huh. That's the power. That's the fire. That's the fire. That's the power. That's the fire. That's the fire. That's the fire. That's the fire. That's the power. That's the fire. Uh huh. I told you. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh my God. Jesus. Lift up your twins. Lift up your twins. There are two sisters in this meeting. Lift up your hands. The enemy used feces to fight you. That is why you are expressing rejection. They use feces. That is sheets to rob you in the realm. And one locked inside the toilet. Now, I decree now, any witchcraft power that is projecting feces, and anytime people see you, they don't want to help you, and you keep smelling before them in the realm, uh -huh. that arrow from the pit of hell, that arrow of witchcraft, uh -huh, that's it, that is causing disappointment, causing failure at the edge of breakthrough, I command that arrow to backfire in the name of the... Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Lift up your twins. Whatever the ancestral power of your father's house used to cover your face, and nobody seen you to help you. Holy God! Holy God! Holy God! Holy God! Holy God! Aha! 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 Lift up your twins. Look at it. Disappointment. Lift up your twins. That spirit of disappointment that is following you about. Demon of disappointment. You will start something at the middle, it will be disappointment. Yes, 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 yes. You damn man, spirit of disappointment. Ancestral spirit of disappointment. Masculine spirit of disappointment. Let her go. Let him go. 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 Holy go. Garment of frustration. Uh huh. Garment of frustration. Garment of hardship. 
Oligos! Lift up your twins finally. Lord, anyone in this meeting and the evil power of their father's house bury their glory inside the native pots. A native pot inside a black pot. Aha. Yes. You that evil pot. Aha. Oh my God. Yes. Aha. I break that pot in the name of you. Holy Ghost. Lift up your twins. I said the marine pots where they kept your glory. The marine pots where they kept your money. The marine pots where they kept your womb. The marine pots where they kept your money. The marine pots where they kept your certificate. I break that pot in the name of you. Aha! 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 Lift up your trends. Every evil mirror, witchcraft mirror, occultic mirror, ancestral mirror, I break that mirror in the name of you. Holy Ghost! Lift up your twins. Anyone in this meeting that they wrote your name, your brother's name, your sister's name, and they took it to Egyptia in a shrine and is praying evil prayer against you. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Woliga! 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 Aha! When I say altar, I want to hear fire. Altar! 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 Alter, 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 alter. Lift up your twins. Lift up your twins. Father. They, aha. Uh -huh. Aha, aha, help her. Lift your twins. Lift up your twins. Close your eyes, madam. This woman, mind your business. What are you looking at? Aha, uh -huh. lift up your twins. Close your eyes. Lord. Anyone. Lift up your twins. Lift up your twins. Lord, anyone here that has been married out and a spirit spouse, a marine spirit spouse is appearing to them in the dream, uninvited, harassing them in the dream sexually, a notorious spirit husband that has vowed not to let them go. Lift up your twins. Father, now, I place a demand. Now, let there be a divorce. Don't say anything. Lift up your twins. Five of you. Let there be a divorce. A divorce. A divorce. A divorce. A divorce. 
a divorce, a divorce. Don't say anything. Lift up your twins. Lord, let there be a divorce now and let that spirit spouse collect his ring. One is gone. Two. Three there. Remaining two. Number four. Yes. Number five. Yes. Uh -huh. No, enough is enough. She's not your wife. She's not your husband. Spirit, don't marry human being. Yes. Let go. 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 Holy God! Holy God! Holy God! Holy God! Uh huh. Uh huh. Aha. 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 Powers arresting your goodness in the spiritual realm. Holy Ghost! That's it. Wherever they lock you in the spiritual realm, in the prison of darkness, I stand on this exalted altar. I open that prison door in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In your dream tonight, Jesus will appear. 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 Any sickness in your body, any affliction in your body, that not of God, I command them to catch fire. I release your certificates from the coven of darkness. Your money, I release it from the coven of darkness. Your helpers that they have turned their face against you, let them begin to remember you now in the name of you. I decree once more, your ordained destined helper, the powers turn their face away from you. Let them begin to remember you now in the name of Jesus. I soak you in the pool of the blood of Jesus. I soak you in the pool of the blood of Jesus. I soak you in the pool of the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Three powerful amen. Amen. A chronic migraine has just disappeared. Headache in one side is gone. Thank you, my father. Take your seat. Please. As I said earlier, all sisters up there, come down. Don't lie down up there. Brothers, go and sleep up. But after 
In the morning, go back to your seat. Come down and look for space. Obey. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. Listen to me. We are not going to open that door. Don't bother make noise. Just go and sleep. We'll open that door by six. Then those of you that want to go and take shower or do whatever, you can go. Then we'll start.